guys, it's Sue and welcome to my channel! It's been four hours since I've done a video. Say hi, Jaja! I haven't really updated you guys as much as I wanted to on my pregnancy journey, so I wanted to get back into videos. And first of all, I'll introduce you to Charlie. Say hi, baby! He is eight months old. And he's a little wild one, like you can see. I really miss doing videos. I thought it would be a good thing to start with an eight month old baby update video and kind of show you guys where I'm at right now. Come here, Papa. And there he goes. <laughs> That's his head. He's walking. Hi. <laughs> He's crazy. He's really crazy. I'm also going to be talking about his journey with his flat hat. He's eight months old, a couple weeks. He's going to turn nine months on the 12th of next month, which is going to be July. He's progressing really fast. I was waiting for him to like crawl. I was like, oh my God, I can wait until he crawls and I can wait until I can like play catch with him and whatever and like no i can't put him down anywhere anymore because he just crawls after me away we have stairs so we live in a two-story house we have to baby proof like everything just to make sure that he doesn't fall down the stairs he pulls himself up on anything now we gotta make sure you know that he doesn't pull himself up on the furniture piece that's just not secured there he is big boy trying to be the center of attention i love this age he can crawl i can actually play with him he loves loves love crawling after blocks that i stack to just knock him over and then we do the whole thing over again because it's just his favorite thing to see the blocks fall over right now last time we had like an actual doctor's appointment was six months his next appointment is at nine months so we're gonna go there he's gonna get shots which he absolutely hates i cry myself i'm like the one that's probably crying more than he does i just can't stand seeing the needles go into his little tiny legs like those are big needles like i'm gonna tell you right now big old needles and i'm like it's almost 2020 there should be another way to give him like the shot he also loves attention as you can tell so we're just gonna be on our knees for like the rest of the video which is a big workout for the mama you know that we had the worst troubles breastfeeding in the beginning we almost didn't start breastfeeding he wouldn't let john he didn't know what he was doing obviously because he had to learn just like i had to learn he had to adjust from being in my belly to being in this big world for a while we had to do like bottles now breastfeeding works smooth and perfect it's like the only thing he does he doesn't even take bottles anymore he just loves the boot he is still breastfed i'm gonna try to breastfeed him until after a year as long as i can i'm proud of every mama out there whatever you do however you feed your baby you're doing amazing if you're watching this you're doing so good because we all need some encouragement motherhood is hard it's full of you know love and joy it's like this little guy he gets crazy sometimes and he eats my clothes you know and my hair and everything else he does not listen either he is just a little ball of joy along like the four months mark four to five months we went to the doctor at his four months appointment and they told us that he has a flat head and i was like oh when you go to classes and when you know read up on stuff and read those pregnancy books they always tell you make sure to put your baby on your back to sleep because you know he could roll over and suffocate all of that stuff that's really scary so i was like oh put him on his back like the entire time because I don't want him to die especially not knowing what I'm doing yeah I didn't know what I'm doing now I know what I'm doing we went to a six month appointment because they told us to see if we can just you know get it away naturally just hold him don't put him on his back too much besides when he's sleeping make sure you just have him on your lap you know maybe in a baby carrier or something that didn't really work he just kept his little flat hat we ended up going to Cranial Technologies where we got specifically a hat made for him it was a helmet this is the helmet that was made especially for him it looks somewhat like this the decoration comes in completely white. The decoration and like the decals I put on there comes with this little zipper thingy here. You just open it, put it on, close it like this. Through here. Whoop, whoop. Easy. So your baby wore says 23 hours a day which means he has one hour where he can take it off, where you can take it off for him. In this hour, you clean it really quick. You take rubbing alcohol, mix it with a little bit of water, just wipe it, make sure you know it's clean. You can also put it out in the sun if it starts smelling a little bit because it will. Just imagine like wearing a shoe all day and then getting your foot out of it. It smells, it's kind of like the smell that his head will have. Oh God, he's trying to pull himself up on this little table. Like literally, Charlie. Oh gosh. After you have cleaned that helmet, you're gonna give him a bath, wash his hair because you want to make sure that he doesn't smell bad. All that sweat and stuff gets out of his hair. He didn't have too much hair so it wasn't that bad. It was more bald than anything. He got that from me when I was a baby. I didn't have hair until like forever. And it's gonna be your routine for as long as he wears that helmet. Luckily for me, when he had the helmet on, 
he adjusted really quick the first two days he was like kind of like fuzzy and he wasn't really sure what was going on like the first hour he hated it he adjusted to it really quick he slept with it like an angel you got like this two day period leave it on for two hours take it off see if the red because it will have red marks pressure that helps you know the head to adjust it doesn't hurt him or anything but it's just slight pressure so you know he'll get marks for a while so you got to make sure that these marks go away within an hour if they don't you go back to adjust it to shave up the foam on the inside to adjust it every single time you go there because you'll be going there every two weeks as long as you will be wearing the helmet make sure you leave it on otherwise he won't adjust because he will be like okay well you're taking it off so i can get it off right babies are smart they'll just be fuzzy until you take it off <laughs> so don't we hi bubba he's going through a growth sport right now he's like eight months and like a couple weeks he's eating sleeping a lot he's also growing three teeth finally you know some babies have them like by six months hi bubba and some babies have them later on but he has one coming on the top right and then two the two bottom ones are coming third he's been teething a lot he always wants this teether honestly guys as soon as he turned eight months boom so much happened three days shy of turning eight months he started crawling all of his Sudden. He can go from laying on his belly or whatever position back up into the sitting position himself. Tries to stand up. He pulls himself up on everything. He wants to walk right now. Like he wants to walk so badly. He pulls himself up and then lets go and takes like a step or something. So he's like not even nine months old. I'm like, please don't. It's too early. He eats like two meals and then, uh oh. He's eating the helmet. He eats like snackies, like little puffs. I just started introducing puffs. He loves them. He can chew them with his gums. Up to four naps during the day usually like 3 until he goes to bed between 7 to 9 p.m. sometimes later usually not earlier like earlier is like one of those miracles latest is like 9 30 then he's out and then he wakes up once in the middle of the night and then he sleeps until like 6 6 30 sometimes 5 it depends a couple days before he turned six months he was able to sit by himself without supporting himself with his hands his hair finally started growing he really wants me right now he's definitely developing his personality right now when he doesn't get something he wants he'll like tell me so he knows how to say mama when I go to the closet like the walk-in closet get something he's right there he'll be like mama mama and I come back and he smiles so he knows I'm mama but it's also the only word he knows so everything is mama right now at night when we have little conversations and he doesn't want to go to sleep okay but you gotta go to sleep it's like 2 a.m. it's not morning and he's like mama 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 and I'm like that was a good point he's pretty convincing even though he doesn't even know how to talk yet there he goes <laughs> Oh, shoot <laughs> he also loves my phone he's like obsessed with it so he always wants to crawl to it like right now he just wants to get it and most of the time he does because he's just really fast and he gets really mad see he already throws a tantrum so what we do is pick you up and we say no no but it's okay and then he pretends like he's choking he's gonna be an actor i'm telling you guys Shh. <laughs> He also laughs at like a lot of weird stuff that's not funny like this. Shh. <laughs> like literally the other day I was like, no. <laughs> and it's so funny to him. No. <laughs> he does not respect me guys. What did I raise? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I am making sure he grows up bilingual. I am originally from Germany. No. <laughs> I'm talking mainly German to him. And then when I <laughs> then when I'm talking with my husband, we talk English, so he gets that part. But mainly we talk German right now just because it's a really hard language to learn later on. Okay, Papa. <laughs> it's not funny, Papa. He's standing on me right now, by the way. But that's all for the eight months update like what is this <laughs> he's doing amazing i'm doing really good like i've adjusted i remember like the first couple days when i brought him back as a newborn i felt like i was like in a different world the hospital staff is not here anymore i felt like i was freaking in outer space he's a little tired he might be delusional like mama when she's tired <laughs> How much I love this little guy. I don't know where I got that from, but I got this like new Lauren patience that I just got from him. He's a baby, he doesn't know what he's doing sometimes, you know. Like he's not at that age where he knows why he's crying or you know, he kinda knows, but he's not that far. So, you know, always be kind, always 
Love you, little papa. Love you, love you, little papa. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'm gonna have more videos coming up. I'm gonna do a video on how to take an under one year old to Disney. Yeah, to Disneyland and Disney California Adventure where we took you, Baba. I'm gonna be uploading that soon, so look out for that one. If you have any other videos you want me to post, like any advice, then just comment that down below and I'll do a little video on tips on how to get through your daily life with having a little kid and not missing out on showers because I never miss out on showers. I always take my showers every day as long as I want to and he lets me. But for now, we're done. So we're gonna be out. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.